hallucinations are not bad obviously at all at obviously point. like uh, if you're saying it and believing it all the i feel it might be bad <laughs> <laughs> if you're saying that you don't feel it to be bad okay i believe it but i'm sure it's you you're just being kind to uh, you know that hallucinating phase keep nahi theek hai okay so that bad it's I like think it's i like oh i feel worse so it's fine i feel worse sort of feeling when you don't know it's a hallucination then then that's scary hmm. but when you know it's a hallucination and you know you can stop it but kabhi hua hai aisa kabhi hua hai aisa ve jab tum tumhe laga ho ki matlab tumhe tumhe nahi pata ho you are hallucinating and you तुम्हें लगा हो कि हाँ यही रियलिटी है बिकॉज बिगनिंग में तो तुम्हें नहीं पता होगा ना कि ये रियलिटी है या नहीं है दी एंटायर टाइम the entire time before i was diagnosed i was wondering did i open some portal to hell that these things are coming to get me so i was still scared and i was still freaking out and night time was terrible because i want to sleep but night time is when i have the worst sleep and the worst nightmares uh, uh, so the next question which i have is like but well, ye बहुत ही कॉमन चीज नहीं है इट्स नॉट अ कॉमन स्टेट जिसमें हम रहते हैं एंड आई वॉन्ट टू नो कि तुम्हारे आस पास लाइक योर फैमिली एंड फैमिली आई आई एम प्रिटी लाइक अम्यूमिंग दैट यू हैव अ वेरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग फैमिली तभी दे आर यू नो जस्ट बींग सो सपोर्टिव ऑफ यू वेल यू आर गोइंग थ्रू दिस डिसऑर्डर एंड ट्राइंग टू मेक सेंस ऑफ वॉट इज हैपनिंग टू यू बट मेरे मतलब आई मैं जो जानना चाहती हूँ वो ये की हाउ इज पीपल अवे फ्रॉम योर फैमिली लाइक एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली हाउ डू दे रियक्ट टू दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड डू दे इवन अंडरस्टैंड उनको समझ भी आता है कि क्या चीज हो रही है so my mom says very frequently kavya i'm trying to understand what you're going through but i don't know how you feel hmm. which i think is a universal thing that people people can't feel things for you but they try very hard i think i come from a place of privilege hmm. because my family has doted on me as far as i can remember even when i was this bad tempered demoness of a person who should not be woken up i was greeted with unconditional love and even the times i got scolded for being lazy they were just trying to help they were trying to you know they weren't angry that i was lazy they were worried that if i keep being lazy how am i going to advance in my life but some of them just don't know that it's not possible uh-huh. the thing which i want to ask is that agar uh, if you would not have been going through you know if you were not diagnosed or uh, diagnosed with narcolepsy and you didn't had those episodes you you didn't had any disorder let's say uh, so do you think that would have been a much happier place or do you think you are you have become more comfortable with this disorder if given a choice if given a choice no i think this was given to me because this was what i had to experience and it's not like an narcolepsy has been all bad uh narcolepsy being able to sleep that easily being able to dream how i want has really allowed me to i've been a creative person so i it has allowed me to really explore my creativity in a way i could not have done it otherwise obviously a life without narcolepsy would be very different i would have graduated quicker i might have gotten better marks i might have a job by now what have you know half is my masters i i might have been a very different person but i like who i am now and i know i'm going to grow even more and narcolepsy was just is just something that has been given to me as a part of life and at 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 i felt it was like really unfair like i so the narcolepsy part isn't unfair what bothered me was that nobody believed me that nobody mm. listened to me and i waited so long to go to a psychiatrist if there was anything i could change in this whole narrative it would be to have seen a psychiatrist sooner i actually like something i wanted to mention i just wanted to mention all the symptoms that i had just kind of make it a little easier for people to kind of yeah yeah happened uh, in the sea if you know they pray to it i was always tired i was cranky and i was groggy i had issues with impulse control as in samne khana rakha hai to main khaungi it was also emotional eating mm-hmm. but bad if i would throw my phone i would get really angry so weight fluctuations happen because erection is the hormone that's not there that's supposed to kind of has a role in it again yeah. i read up on this so long ago that half the scientific jargon has left my mind so i'm just talking from the impressions that i had reading what i read depression and anxiety can be you know 
you're at a higher risk of depression and anxiety you can have hallucinations you but very interesting thing is you may fall asleep you may not realize you are asleep and you will keep doing what you were doing when you were awake because i gave my exam sleeping thank you so much kavya for answering all the questions which we had i know uh, it's difficult to share in front of a larger audience because there are a lot of we know that social media there are people who judge and all those things but i'm really really thankful to you for doing this for us because when people sh- like you share we understand what you might be going through we not completely relate to it but at least you know it's just not a term narcolepsy there is also a emotional feeling which get gets attached to it and we are able to understand it not over here but here as well which is important thank you for reaching out to me because i wanted to do this for a while but i'm so tired <laughs> i'm always tired 